What violin is best for beginners? Keep watching to find out. We have met. Hi, I'm Megan. I'm a violinist and teacher currently based in New Jersey. I've been playing the violin for over 20 years. I have my bachelor's and master's degrees in violin performance and I'm a Suzuki trained teacher. If you're enjoying my videos, please make sure you subscribe to my channel and check out my membership, Learn Violin Online, which is always linked in the description. When you join Learn Violin Online, you'll get access to all of my digital courses for a much more affordable rate than if you bought each of them individually, plus direct access to me for answering your questions, for giving you feedback, and just helping you as much as possible on your violin journey. You can try it completely free for five days, and if it's not the right fit, cancel anytime. So what violin is best for beginners? My suggestion for all beginners is to rent an instrument rather than buy an instrument. And there are several reasons for this. One is that honestly, you don't know if you're going to stick it out for the long term. There could be a number of reasons why you don't end up continuing. And if you spent one, two, three thousand dollars on an instrument, sure, you might be able to sell it, but will you get all of your investment back? Who knows? So it's best to rent until you're extremely certain that you're going to keep this up for a while. Renting is also much more affordable. I'm sure that you know that violins are expensive and renting in my area, which is the East Coast of the US is about $40 a month. However, I know of other shops or I know of shops that will give you special deals if it's your first time renting with them. One of um, the shops in my area does like 140 for like 10 months, which is just an unbeatable deal. If you tried to buy a violin for $140, um, it would not be very good. It would be a VSO as we call it, or a violin shaped object and not a violin. And additionally, even though renting is cheaper, you will be able to play a decent instrument because shops aren't just going to go around renting like really, really bad instruments. They are going to give you a decent instrument because obviously they want their reputation to be good. They'll also be much more likely to help you if you need help like putting tapes on your violin, if it's string breaks, if you need them to change the strings for whatever reason or tune your instrument, which can be really helpful if you're a beginner who um, is learning by themselves or taking online lessons. With all that being said, I know that renting just isn't possible for some people and some people prefer to buy. So if that's the case, here are the violins that I recommend. My number one favorite student brand violin is Eastman. Eastman violins are great quality. They are not mass produced. They are all handcrafted. And I've never met an Eastman violin that does not sound good. To buy a new Eastman violin, it depends on which one you get, of course, but they will run you about $1,000, which I know sounds like a lot. It is a lot, but in the scheme of violin playing, it's really not that much. You can buy used ones online though for, for less than that. Just make sure that you don't get scammed. Just be smart out there. If you're not quite ready to spend $1,000, my second choice is the concert violin from Fiddler Shop. This will run you about $500 for a complete violin outfit, which means case, violin, bow, everything. The violin is good quality, but the reason why I personally recommend Fiddler Shop is because of their customer service. I've had a couple students purchase violins from them and they have raved about their service. Um, one of them, like the violin just randomly broke to no fault of her own, and they sent her a completely new violin for free, no questions asked. $500 is still a little bit outside of your price range. The third option would be a Hoffman violin from Char Music. These are decent violins, and again, they come with a violin outfit, which is case, bow, everything you need to get started. But overall, a solid choice for the money, it's about $200. What kind of violin do you have? Let me know in the comments. All the violins I mentioned here will be linked in the description. Thank you so much for watching and be sure to check out Learn Violin online before you go.